Aloha everyone, this is Max with the Asian Geek Squad and today we're going over phone calls, texting, and WhatsApp on your Fitbit Versa 2. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Now when you have an incoming phone call, your Fitbit Versa will alert you of who's calling. Now you can go ahead and answer your call. But when you answer your call, you cannot actually talk via your Fitbit. You will have to talk via your smartphone or if you have a Bluetooth connected device. But if you're wearing your Galaxy Buds, then it will also alert you on who's calling. So it kind of does the same thing twice. Now as a tip, make sure your ringer is on if you want your Fitbit to alert you, even if it's on the lowest volume. If your phone is on silent and it's ringing, your phone will ring, but your Fitbit Versa will not alert you at all. So if you're having issues on why it's not working, that's because your phone is probably on silent. Now let's look at responding to messages. This works the same way whether you're using messages or WhatsApp. What you would do is go ahead and go to your notification, tap on the notification, and from here you can go ahead and mark as red, reply, open, or clear. Let's go ahead and reply. If you have your Fitbit application running in the background, you can use voice to respond to your text messages. So let's go ahead and tap on that and try that out. Call me back when you get a chance. And here we are. It transcribed correctly. Call me back when you get a chance. You can hit retry if you want to change your message or you can go ahead and tap on send. Let's go ahead and tap send. Now let's go ahead and respond a different way. One thing I'm really confused about is this option of language. So here you can see English and you have you can tap the menu button to switch different languages, which to be honest, that should be on your Fitbit app when you're setting this up, not when you're trying to respond to a text message. So it's kind of confusing. You have these options of yes, no, sounds good, and you have the option of more reply. And you have the option of changing this on your Fitbit app and I'll show you guys how to do that as well as the emojis. You can also just tap one of these and once you tap it, it'll automatically send. It won't give you the previous confirmation and asking you to send it. Now let's go ahead and check out emojis. So these are the emojis. Once you've selected your emojis, scroll down and tap on send. So that's how you would respond to messages WhatsApp on your Fitbit Versa. Now let's change those preset options. Go ahead and open your Fitbit application, tap on your profile, scroll down and go ahead and select your device. From there, select notifications and then select quick replies. Now you can customize different responses for each of the applications if you want to do that. So if you want a different set for messages and a different set of replies for WhatsApp, you can go ahead and go into each individual one and select those. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and change the default replies, which is the top option right here. So I chose the third one as I'll call you back. And you can also change the emojis from here. So these are the preset emojis that they have. Let's go ahead and select some of these and replace them. All right, so we made a couple of changes here. I'll call you back and these two emojis right here. So now we have a new incoming text message and let's go ahead and reply. From here, we can see that I'll call you back is now showing on the message reply options. And for the emojis, we have the one that we selected here, except on the Fitbit, it shows us having a sweatband on top. All right, guys, well, that's a quick look at phone calls and responding to texting and WhatsApp and messages for your Fitbit Versa 2. If you guys have any questions, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Aloha.